Hello and welcome to another trip report. I'm on my way to the gate here at Gatwick Airport's South Terminal and today I'm taking a flight that cost me just one euro cent. I'm flying with Level to Vienna. Enjoy the video. Last summer, Level opened a base at Vienna and started serving Gatwick Airport. They had promotional one euro cent fares on offer for a very short time and I was lucky enough to take advantage of one. Both Vueling and Level are IAG Group Airlines, they're owned by the same multinational company. Despite Gatwick South being the nicer of the terminals here, it does suffer from having to walk all the way through the duty-free area just to get to departures. Still, they've got to make their money somehow, I guess. Normally I'd use my Priority Pass card to get into one of the lounges here at Gatwick. Here in the South Terminal, the only one on the scheme is the number one lounge, which is often very busy. Priority Pass know this and to that end they've extended their deals to cover a number of restaurants. This is the Grain Store. Here Priority Pass have a deal where you can get £15 off the bill. There's no minimum spend and you don't actually have to spend more than £15 to take advantage of the offer. My breakfast came to £14.95 and I had to pay nothing other than leaving a tip of course for the staff. One of the places I get inspiration for future trips is actually at the airport. I love seeing all the different aircraft heading to different destinations and I promise to travel on Orini at some point in the near future. Gatwick has become a much nicer place to take a flight over the last 10 years or so. There are now quiet zones in both terminals and there's a cool cutaway where you can look inside the baggage handling facility at Gatwick. It's a mesmerizing facility. I could watch it all day, but I have a plane to catch. One of my habits whenever I'm traveling is to have a look at Flight Radar 24 to find the inbound aircraft that's going to form my flight. I can see my aircraft today has just landed, although I think the GPS is a little off. The gates at the very south end of the south terminal command an excellent view over the runway. I've therefore got a good vantage point to see today's aircraft, this A321 of level, turning in. And my main impression is that the livery is incredibly boring, and perhaps deliberately so, although I'll come onto that a little later. The livery rather reminds me of some of the default AI controlled planes in Flight Simulator, which I used to play when I was a kid. Thank you. On board level operate a standard A321 all economy layout in a 3-3 configuration. But I have got a great tip for you. If you're into paying for your seat selection, you might notice that these two emergency exit rows look great, but the three behind them look even better. Strangely, despite that row of seats having the best legroom on the entire aircraft, they're not categorized as emergency exit rows. You can see here 12A, B, C, D, E and F are all green and that means they're regular seats that don't attract the $13.99 fee for exit rows. My seat was down the back of the aircraft and you can see from the red seat belt here that this aircraft actually used to belong to Air Berlin. The seat pitch was incredibly generous for a back of the aircraft economy seat. However, Level are an aggressively low-cost airline and I wouldn't be surprised if they later configured these aircraft with more seats to cram more people in. All exits are clearly marked with the word EXIT. Draw lights lead you to this exit. Upon departure from Gatwick into fluffy cloud skies, it's time for us to take a look at today's route. 
London Gatwick to Vienna is 778 miles and the flight will take us exactly two hours today at 34,000 feet. The first thing I noticed when I explored the seat is this literature from the airline which explains its mantra as a low-cost airline, allegedly standing up for our right to fly. Gatwick to Vienna is also operated by EasyJet and it's interesting to see Level's pricing strategy. Some dates are quite expensive. You can see there's 101 euro here, 55 euro now and again, and down to as low as 40 euros or even 36 euros, depending on the exact day you want to travel. On average, during my research, I found them to be a little cheaper than EasyJet. Even when you account for all the additional things like seat selection and bags, they still come out slightly cheaper. Personally, I quite like EasyJet and find them a very consistent carrier, so it's interesting to find that Level are trying to undercut them. However, in my view, they're offering an inferior service. Since this video was made, Level have expanded at Vienna to include 18 destinations. They also have a long-haul base at Barcelona, operating to North and South America. This flight took place on a beautiful summer's day, and the views of Kent are spectacular. We even get a very good look at Ashford Airport. Formerly RAF Manston, this closed airfield is now being turned into an emergency lorry park. We cross the continental coast at Ostend. I've lost count of the number of times I've spotted this airport run on my way somewhere in Central Europe. Level is a seriously budget carrier, and there's no in-flight entertainment, as is common throughout Europe. However, there is the bonus of having charge points at every seat on board. To be honest, when I travelled, it was in between meal times and didn't feel like having anything substantial from the onboard menu. However, let me show you a little footage here from the return flight where I did have something. The menu on level is pretty nicely presented. Because I really wanted to get some food to show you guys what it would be like on board and whether it's worth the expense, I went for the Vienna deal. 10 euros for a snack, drink and a sandwich. The sandwich, in my case, was this delicious looking croque monsieur, a French ham and cheese toasted sandwich. Now, I did have a problem in actually purchasing this. This sped up footage is, in real life, nearly four minutes long, and that's how long it took me to purchase this. There was some problem with the card machine that the flight attendants were trying to fight all the way up the aisle with every single passenger. I don't know if it was early teething problems or just a problem with that particular card machine, but it wasn't good for the staff and I felt sorry for them. Anyway, after a few minutes, one of the flight crew came back with this heated croque monsieur sandwich. It didn't look too bad from the outside, but once I was inside the wrapping, it was absolutely horrendous. This is not a croque monsieur, and calling it one, I think, would cause a diplomatic incident with the French. In the end, I only had a few bites. Anyway, back to the outbound flight, which is the focus of this video. After a couple of hours, we're descending gently into Vienna. While we're watching the aircraft descend, let me know in the comments below if you've ever purchased a flight for one cent, or maybe even less. Perhaps you went for free one time on some promotion. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below. So, to sum up on whether I think Level is good value, now there's no point in me assessing this as a one cent flight. I took it because it was insanely, insanely cheap and because I wanted to show you guys the airline. However, you can't buy the flights for one cent anymore. They're the prices that I highlighted earlier in the video. And to be honest, even though they're a good 10 to 20% cheaper than EasyJet, I rather prefer EasyJet. They're a much more reliable and consistent carrier. The one thing that really stood out for me about Level is the fact that it was such a boring and insipid airline. There's almost no character to this operation whatsoever, and I think that's deliberate. My own personal suspicion is that Level is a holding company for IAG to purchase a large, low-cost carrier. Norwegian, perhaps, watch out. It's just a hunch, and I don't claim to be some airline industry analyst, but please do let me know what your gut feeling is in the comments. And that's it guys, that is the end of today's trip report. I'm on my way home now. Let me know what you thought of Level in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. Until next time, see you around.